wise man once said, why should we not all live in peace and harmony? We look up at the same stars. We are fellow passengers on the same planet. And we dwell beneath the same sky. What matters it along which road each individual endeavors to find the ultimate truth? Here is a young man. He looks out upon the same stars, the same sky as you and I. Yours, mine, his. But who is he? Just who is this young man? And why is he here? I think perhaps he can tell you better than I can. How do you do? My name is Hubert Wagner. I'm a German exchange student and li I'm living in Spirit Lake. I'm living with a very nice family, Mr. and Mrs. Sid Norsey. I was born in Czechoslovakia in 1935 and spent my first 10 years on my father's farm. But after the war was over in 1944 and 1945 and the communists took over, we had to move, like other Germans. And so now we are in Germany. My country is Bavaria. I have three brothers and one sister, two older brothers and a younger one and a little sister. My father uh, couldn't get a farm, so he worked as a carpenter. And now many people is unemployed, and also ha it also happened to my father sometimes. I attended five year high school in Germany already, and now I'm going to high school in Spear Lake, and will graduate this year there. After I want. After I go back to Germany, I want to go back to school and then finish my high school. Then I probably want to get a job as for commerce importer or exporter. I'm also very interested in politics. The program under which I'm here is the Youth Exchange, Exchange Program. Because I wanted to live on a farm, the Farm Bureau Federation took charge of me. The program is to promote and educate a better understanding, better international understanding between the two countries. Because without understanding, we won't get any world peace. I left Germany with other 199 students on July 21st. There we traveled to Italy, northern Italy, and in Genoa we got shipped in. After eight days of nice travel, we arrived in New York. In New York, we made our first step on American soil. And now I am here. I am learning, I am seeing, and I am taken back. Thoughts of democracy, American living, and many, many surprises. We students, we thought, we know how America is, what it, what it, would, be, uh, what it be, would like. But there were many surprises Many, many surprises were also waiting. I would like to mention you some, but not all. I can't tell them all. The big fields, the vast areas of the fields. I live on a farm. I'm working on them. But it is very, very different than in Germany. Maybe one field is as big as in Germany a farm. And you can imagine how small the farms are in Germany. And that is because we have so many people over there, and so few land. You follow the newspaper, the news, and you see how many people is coming over from the eastern zone. 6,000 a day is the average. And you think, what shall we do with them? Who shall feed them? Where shall we put them? It is one of the greatest problems of the days. And if you know where the Germans live, in cellars, everywhere, six families in one house, one room for a family. Just imagine, one room for a living room, dining room, bedroom and kitchen. In America, you find empty houses. You wouldn't find an empty house in America and if it would be a stable. What do you think? Do you have any suggestions how we can solve this problem? We don't know. We know the cellar walls are sweating, the air is muffy. We know it is 
a great danger for our health. But who can help? Germany. It is my country and I love it. I am a German and I am proud of it. We have so many wars. But who can help? We need a government. We need people who are interested in, the, in politics. But no one seems to be. It is different in schools. You in America have schools, you are taught government, you are taught economics, but we in Germany we hear nothing about the government. It isn't taught in schools. We have to work, we have to learn it by ourselves. And that is not easy. A few differences in, in living, I would like to tell you too because it's so interesting. There are little differences, but they are important. And everything, if I know I'm talking uh, of experience. If you think you are doing right, sometimes you, are, you might even know you are wrong. But we got to learn. We are here to learn and take back whatever we know. Thousands of people and thousands of people wanted to come over here. When we heard about first was a newspaper and in school we were told to come over here. Just imagine 14,000 students were volunteers for that. And 4,000 came over here. Oh, pardon me, 400 came over here. And you know, in Germany, everybody wants to go to America. And I think it is in every country. Because America is the land of the future. America is a young nation. And they think in America, it's a paradise of the world. They think the Americans have money. The Americans have everything. Because they have cars. You know, in Germany, if you have a car, that means something. You are a big wheel or anything. But I found out that in America you have a car, you don't have to be nobody. Sometimes they have cars and don't even have money. to pay their car expenses. But the car is necessary in America. I found out what would the farmers do? What would the people do who live out in the country without a car? I know it. But many, many people don't know about anything about another country if they haven't been there. Our music. Our music is very different. In Germany, we have a new jazz. And we know the German at least believes that jazz is coming from America. But our music is a folk song. Every country has its folk song, and we have it too. And I would like to present you an example of our folk song right now. You see, that's real German music. That's original music. But there was a time the jazz took over and now especially the young people is very, very exciting and she likes the jazz very much. Me, I mean I'm talking I played accordion for a year in, in a band, in a jazz band, and I'm a big friend of jazz too. But it's American I think. Now you see the American people the American people is thinking. I know I have experience of it and I have I know the people think different things. 
and so everybody does. But I hope the Americans have done many, many things for the Germans, and the Germans appreciate it. And we students, we exchange students, 400 in America, and so many before us, we have to be prepared and go back and put in practice what we have learned. And I think it will be a good idea. We are that together over there in groups and organizations. It's the same thing as a competition. The things we, ha we have to do, promote when we go back, is one thing. To put the people together in organizations and in, in clubs, in society. To put the government, the subject government, into schools. To promote a better understanding between families, in families between children and, and parents. A better understanding in school between teacher and student. It is a great, great problem, but I think we can solve it if we put together, if we hold together, and if we work together. This is one of the biggest problems, and only with that we can get the peace of the world, I think. Because, you know, Germany is divided. There are corruption in Germany which have to be removed. And I think we have to do it, and we will do it. After this talk, I thank you very, very much. And I know I will have to come, I, I go back to Germany and take back. And so does every student. Thank you very much. And so this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, you've met Hubert Wagner from Germany. You've heard him tell you about his country and about his views about America. And you've also heard him play the accordion and talk to you about jazz. Just exactly why did we ask Hubert to talk with you today? Why did we ask you to meet him? Here is a young man from Germany, a country that was once very, very far away, but now is but a few hours from our own shores by air travel. In this shrinking world, we do have our differences, and we must live with them. He with ours, and we with his. But those differences are really superficial, for beneath them lie all the things in which we are all alike. There are our common needs, our necessities, our wants, our likes and dislikes, and our common humanity. So we ask you to remember well this young man from Germany, the fellow who is a fellow traveler on the same planet, who lives under the same sky, and looks up at the same stars, as you and I.